This is a little control surface called Lupita Control. I designed it to be used via the synthesizer called Lepetoman, his hence the name. Uh, it was a long time ago the project kind of I I forgot about it for a while. Now I found the parts and the code so I decided to resurrect it back from the dead. So it has some changes and I decided to make a little video about it before I forget about it again and hop onto something else. So uh, let me show you what it, what, it, what it is made of. Uh, right, uh, the USB connector, which is USB mini, fairly sturdy. And here is the interesting part, the knobs. Uh, they are made from real potentiometers, uh, but uh, all the potentiometric stuff is <laughs> ripped out and just the magnets glued in. Here are two shift registers and some transistors uh, to drive the LED matrix. Uh, it doesn't really look like a matrix, but it is. Uh, there is a lot of LEDs here. and. In the bottom part, uh, there is actual the main microcontroller. It is STM32 F103 C C something, uh, which was probably a decent choice at the time, uh, which is 21. Uh, some support chips to multiplex uh, I2C bus, and mm, yeah, basically that's it. Uh, the four sensors is 56 double O. Uh, they are digital and PWM. I use the, I use them in I2C mode, uh, so uh, it needs some multiplexer because in the infinite wisdom uh, they make them all with the same address, so you cannot really use them as such without some additional circuitry. Right, uh, reset button, boot button. Yeah. That's it. Let's put it together and see what it looks like when it's working. If if it does. So you see, there is a little gap, uh, but it's it's good. the The sensor reports that uh, the magnet strength is just hunky dory. Uh, we plug it in. What's it like when it works? When it does? The VFD display doesn't really do much. It just shows the current CC, which we uh, control. Excuse the sounds. It's a huge, very heavy rain outside. And right, the most beautiful part of it, which I still love and wouldn't change it, is the ring of very very tiny LED lights. They are 042, which is like one millimeter by half, and they are very very pretty color, which you cannot really see on camera, just like the VFD color is also fairly unique. And yeah, that's basically that's all about it. Uh, it's very useful, not just in DO and not just to control the synthesizer, because there is a very useful piece of software called MIDI mixer, and linked together with it, you can control separate groups of volumes, for example. So like this would be the general volume, your browsers, YouTube's, your DO, and maybe your messaging or maybe you can microphone volume if you chat a lot or something and there's also this button which currently does nothing because I don't really have MIDI mixer started but if I if I do if I do it would talk back and by talking back it will send a different CC message which would notify me that currently muted or unmuted and even better it will send audio peaks and this provides another useless but beautiful display
uh, which is this thing is all about. So thank you for watching. That's I guess that's about it, and I'll probably make a case for it in a little box, but. I would say that it's pretty much finished as it is for now. I have since then found very nice libraries uh, which help make things like this with Arduino and everything, but well, this one is pretty much bare bones. Right, so thank you for watching again and goodbye.